First, a rookie police officer is shot and killed. A second officer is shot and is recovering tonight. This is a live look at the Chandler Regional Medical Center where the second officer was taken for treatment. It happened when they were called to check on a party in the Gila River Reservation southeast of the valley. A second person was also killed and four others injured. Fox 10's Kenzie Beach joins us live in studio. Kenzie, what did you learn today? Yeah, well, Brian and Ashley, the series of events is still unclear tonight, but Gila River police tell us they were responding to a disturbance call at 2 o'clock this morning, arriving to chaos of a large crowd when multiple shots were fired. I spoke with a person that was close to Gila River officer who died. The son of a deputy, 23-year-old Joshua Breeze, shot and killed in the line of duty. Officer Breeze was still in field training. He was just an, off, an officer you could depend on to show up when you needed him. And he just took pride in his job. Before joining the academy, he spent time at the Arizona Department of Corrections alongside officers like Terry Neal. He wanted to help the community. You know, that was his goal in life, to be a police officer. Josh, following in his father's footsteps, Deputy David Breeze, who was also killed in the line of duty in 2006 while working for the Yellowstone County Sheriff's Office. As Gila River police try and put together the pieces, they're asking for the public's help. This video was posted to Facebook this afternoon by the account Ariana Gonzalez. It was taken just after 2 o'clock in the morning in Santan District 4. You hear chaos and gunfire. Things should have gone down like that, you know, and it's sad that that other parties didn't think the officer's life was of value. The Gila River Police Department and FBI are working the joint investigation. Now, after last night's shooting, the Gila River Council passing a new moratorium. It bans all dancing of any kind in the Gila River community. Anyone caught breaking that ordinance is subject to arrest, a fine, or a loss of home site lease. We're still waiting to learn the identity of that other person that was killed early this morning. Live in studio tonight, Kenzie Beach, Fox 10 News. Kenzie, just a tragic, tragic story. Reactions to the officer's death have been pouring in from across the state. This evening, the governor of the Gila Gila River Indian community released a statement saying he is praying for the officer and all involved. He also promised his focus would be on next steps.